For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. There are more viruses uh, than there are stars in the universe. These are incredibly widespread. Uh, they affect every organism. Bacteria have their own viruses. Uh, and there's this battle going on right now in your GI tract, whether you like it or not, between the viruses that are attacking your bacteria. And let's hope the right ones win. But viruses can also cause very serious illnesses, as we all know from things like smallpox and polio and now COVID-19. Viruses tend to be particularly dangerous for humans uh, when they jump across from other species. And that seems most likely to be what happened here, despite various conspiracy theories. By far and away, the most likely explanation is that this virus, which was being developed in a bat, perhaps traveling through another species, got into humans, possibly in the wet market in Wuhan, China. And there it found a host uh, that was very susceptible to its ability to multiply itself. It bound to human cells using a human protein on the surface called ACE2, which allowed that virus to get inside and then take over that host cell's machinery and replicate itself at, at a very rapid pace and then spread to other cells nearby. And furthermore, this virus was particularly good at making itself contagious to others around. Even people who weren't yet symptomatic could be very infectious, which is why SARS-CoV-2 has been such a bad actor and why so many people have gotten sick and died. So that is pretty consistent with what we know about other viruses. There's nothing particularly striking here, except maybe this very unusual way that people who aren't feeling sick can be super spreaders of the virus, which has made this one really successful. And of course, with evolutionary pressure, with so many people affected, mistakes made in copying the virus, most of which are deleterious, occasionally pop up with something that makes it even better at infecting people. That was alpha, and that was beta, and that was delta, and now it's omicron, and who knows what might be next. So how did this come about? Let's be clear that this is probably, at least indirectly, a consequence of humans and animals getting really close together in ways that they traditionally have not. Bats living in caves in China generally didn't come in contact with a lot of humans, and now that's been more common. Same thing with influenza, as you all know, in terms of how that comes from birds or sometimes from pigs. This is a constant refrain, and I don't think we should blame God for that part. Now, in terms of the question about why would God allow this anyway, Again, I come back to the fact that I see God as interested in natural order and having put in place this incredibly elegant process of evolution, it would not be appropriate to sort of say, oh yeah, but you can't make viruses evolution. <laughs> you gotta leave that part alone. Uh, and actually viruses in many instances are actually part of the natural order and are not harmful, but occasionally they burst out like this. And I don't think we should blame God for that. What we should do is to try to take the tools of science, which I think are God-given. We have the intelligence to be able to figure these things out and use them uh, to come up with ways to prevent and treat the disease, which is what the scientific community has been doing, as I said at the beginning, with great intensity and great effect for two years.